have a story to tell? I believe you. Ghost. Cryptids. The unknown. Let's talk about it. This is my ghost cast. Hey guys, welcome back to My Ghost Cast. Your host, Rez. Today's guest, Hector Cruz. Hector's got some uh, some stories that <laughs> creep me out and connected to other stories. So, Hector, take it away, my friend. Okay, thank you. So, uh, I want to start with a story where I am in my uh, 20s. I'm going to put it like that. <laughs> Because uh, I'm in my oh, so five years ago, as you're saying, five years yeah, ago, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I, um, I'm an X-ray tech by trade. I went to uh, radiology school through the military. I always like to say that I joined the army to, after high school. I joined the army to see the world from Del Rio, Texas, and I get stationed in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, for those of you that don't know, that's only 150 miles from my home. <laughs> so I didn't get far. <laughs> um, working in San Antonio, being that there's a lot of hospitals, I was working part-time at uh, one of the hospitals uh, downtown San Antonio. And um, I worked for both Krista Santa Rosa and Baptist many years ago. It just so happens that uh, the downtown area of San Antonio, uh, a lot of the stuff was built over um, like burial grounds. Uh, and when anytime they extended any one of the hospitals, you know, a lot of times they would stop construction because you would actually see that they ran into, uh, you know, a site that had uh, bones and uh, they would stop it and bring the archaeologists from the schools, you know, UTSA, for example, and they would have to excavate, and, you know, study the area. They're protected like that. So they would do that. So that's what I mean by that. So uh, my story begins. Uh, uh, I was uh, doing what they call morning rounds uh, back in the old days and before digital technology. So, you know, it took a long time. And I, uh, one of these hospitals, um, we would start these rounds like a, you know, basically like 4.30, 5 a.m. So, you know, I started my job, I started the rounds and I, you know, you, you, you're going to these patients' rooms and you're unfortunately waking them up, right? A daily mix room. And I remember going to this one floor. There was many floors, obviously, but I went to this one floor where I only had one patient to do. It's one X-ray. So I'm taking my portable X-ray portable machine, which is heavy enough, and with a bunch of cassettes. And I'm looking for, uh, you know, I come out of the elevator. And uh, it's very dark, first of all, because it's, you know, the patients are sleeping. And, you know, I pass the nurse station and they you know, just wave at me, so I pass it on. Uh, it's very cold. It's very cold already, so that's another feeling already. And I come around, a, you know, a bend here and I turn and there's this long hallway. It's a long hallway with rooms. And it's also, once again, uh, very uh, semi-dark, you know, it's, a little bit of light, but it's very dark. So you're trying to be, um, you know, conscientious, you know, you don't want to make a whole lot of noise. Uh, so I'm taking my machine down, I'm looking for this room number. 
and as I'm looking, going down this long, full hallway, <laughs> okay, I uh, come up, you know, I find, and I am about to knock on the door, and I, I notice, right, I notice that there seems to be a conversation. So I, I hear a conversation. So if you if you think you're because you can't see because the door's closed, but if you notice you hear a conversation, you assume that there is two people or more discussing, right? Um so I just okay, fine, there's two people discussing, so then I didn't feel as bad that I was gonna have to wake up this patient. So I still, you know, we still knock on the door and you know knock on the door you open the door and you say hi my name is Hector and I'm here to take an x-ray can I come in and the first thing I noticed was that this patient of mine was already sitting up so that's great so you feel even better right because I'm not really disturbing this patient uh, this patient uh, looks over at me and his room is all dark I, I didn't dawn on me that this patient was sitting up in the dark. You're not thinking about it. I'm doing my job. <laughs> I'm doing my job. So, you know, all these things are, you know, I, you know, I, I'm not even paying attention to them, right? And the patient says, yes, come in. So, you know, I'm coming in, bring my machine in. Um, and the patient, all of a sudden, the patient is quiet, you know, not saying anything, just allowing me to do my job. Uh, I have, this is older technology, so I have to put this plate in the back of the patient's back. You know, I have to lean the patient back and I, for, you know, adjust my machine so that I can take this patient's x-ray. And this patient's very cooperative, everything's fine, cooperating with me the whole time. And take the x-ray um, and I notice that Again, I noticed that this patient was just staring at me the whole time, not saying a word. You know, it didn't dawn on me, you know, it didn't say anything, fine. So when I'm done taking my x-ray, I, you know, I say, can you lean forward? I'm going to take the cassette back, you know, from her back. And she's just staring at me and all of a sudden she just says to me, she said to me, and she said that in Spanish and in Spanish is, no los miras, so no los miras. Uh, <laughs> to can't you see them? And it's like, can't you see them? Ooh. And then she, she's looking at me. I'm to her left, and then she looks in front of her, right? Then, and I'm like. Uh, who's them? And then she said in Spanish, she said, Los Muertos. Los so, que? Los Muertos translate to the dead. <laughs> right? Oh, shit. So, uh, right there, right there is when, when it hit me, you know, that when I was about to knock on this patient's room, I heard a conversation. I heard two different voices talking. Okay. And that's when it hit me. So all I can tell you then and there is uh you know, I think every hair in my body <laughs> you know just stood up and then it hit me and I just wanted to get out of there as fast Run. as I could. You know? <laughs> um, um, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I mean, I don't know what this lady was seeing, uh, but I didn't see what she saw, uh, you know, and I just thanked the lady and got out of that room, closed the door and quickly got out of that floor. <laughs> and it freaked me out. Um, it freaked me out. It did. Uh, obviously, I had, I had a job to do, so I continued. Uh, but I, you know, I was uh, shaky. You know, after that, because I, you heard, explain the fact that I, 
that I heard what I thought were two different voices, right? Um, now, you know, because I'm in healthcare, medically, um, even psychologically, you could say, well, maybe she was schizophrenic. I don't know, you know? I mean, that's always a possibility, you know? Are they talking around the same time? <laughs> exactly. You know, we're going to do that. You know? so, um, so that is my, you know, first experience that, you know, that did, you know, freak, shook me oh. up, freaked me out. Man. So you know? when you, so you were hearing in conversations when you, right before you walked in, you were hearing uh, yes, at least two distinct voices, maybe more. So, yeah, honestly, I mean, because she said, you know, that's, you know, know. like you said, she said, uh, do you see them? Maybe she wasn't talking at all. Not to freak you out more, but maybe she wasn't talking at all. And I, you know, and the other thing is I, that I, you know, I can't recall, you know, now is, uh, were they, were they conversing in English? Were they conversing in Spanish? Um, you know, I, I, I don't remember, you know, anymore, but you know, she, was talking to me in Spanish, you know, and I happen to be bilingual. And, uh, you know, so, you know, I, I don't recall, they, but I did hear uh, a conversation, you know, I, you know, which usually made me, you know, two different people or more. So, you know, that's... No, it, I, it, I've had, I've had similar experiences that my old house and Actually, on more than one occasion, where I hear conversations happening, like a whole bunch of, whole bunch of people, I hear, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, that type. Yeah, right. and so you can't, I couldn't distinguish any words, but you can tell there was speaking going on. It happened as a kid a lot, and I'd hear it. It sounded like it would come from the living room. Okay. And so I'd wake up thinking, you know, my parents are being chismosos. And they're talking, you know, they're like, you know, your aunt, man, that, that, you know, they can just come back. And I'm like, oh, geez, man, I got to hear this. <laughs> you know? I remember discussing that with you. you know, the yeah. <laughs> and I would hear that. And as soon as, like, you know, it was at night and I didn't, I didn't, couldn't see anything. I mean, I could see it was my house at, at night. And I, I start walking the living room as soon as I, as soon as I, like, stepped across the threshold of the living room, they'd be like, shut up, shut up they would stop I'm like just listening in did they hear me I thought I was being sneaky ninja like you know like, they stopped all right and sure enough I keep walking all the way because my parents room and my room were on the opposite sides of the house so I had to cross this big living room in order to get over there so I'd go finally get over there you know everybody slept with the doors open you know uh, so you know, I, and then later on, I was like, maybe it's their breathing. Maybe they're breathing funny. Right. Sure enough, I get over there and I hear light snoring. I'm like, maybe it's that. I'm like, well, how come I can't hear you? It doesn't sound the same. And I walk back later on. You know, I get back in bed and I start hearing. Like, they start talking again. They caught me. Chingo, they caught me. <laughs> so yeah, wow. and you know. I would did it. It would happen very often. It did. It did. How much of that do you think? I mean, how much of that really scared you? It didn't at first because I really thought they were being chismosos, you know? <laughs> right. right. They were talking. I'm oh, sorry for those of you guys who don't speak Spanish. Chisma is like, a, is a, like, what? Rumors, uh, just talking smack, you know? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> How do we guess on cheese, man? They're, uh, man, the word, I'm getting old, man. I can't even, like, That's gossip. It. There you go, gossip. It's like cool. gossip. It's like, oh, I gotta hear that, you know. My uncle did what? Oh, man, that dude always in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right. you know? But it, it, it later on, it started to scare me because I'm like, wait a minute, this is not, that's not them. Right. And then, you know, among other things I started seeing, I'm like, hey, this is a pattern. <laughs> or I later on in San Antonio, because I lived in San Antonio, man. That's one of the scariest cities I ever lived in. You're right. You're right. I would hear my name in my apartment sometimes. Ooh. And I was like, 
who's calling me in the kitchen? And I'm my dumb ass. Oh, let me go see who's in the kitchen. Hey, I'm by myself. Ah, oh, shit. I'm hearing things. Was I? Was I really hearing things? So, no, that that that's that's messed up. Have you had any uh, anything regarding that? After that, you know. No, but when you know what I can't tell you, you know, like on the subject of uh, hospitals, you know, um, obviously there's a lot of unfortunate deaths. You know, a lot of people end up dying in the hospitals, you know, uh, and I don't think there is. I've worked, you know, I've been in healthcare for over 30 years now. And I don't think I have worked one hospital, maybe a clinic, obviously, you know, it's not a hospital. But I don't think I've worked any hospital where someone uh, does not have any in, a story of the same, of the kind, you know. Um, I mean, even the hospital where I'm currently employed now, you know, which is in Del Rio, Texas, you know, it's only one hospital. And I can't tell you how many stories there are, how many sightings, you know, and stuff. There, There is, um, even in my department, you know, I, you know, you, I've, I've been working there 18 years now. I mean, we, we even gave this one, whatever you want to call it, entity, whatever, you know, me call the acronym, you know, um, and some, you know, some people, um, I guess, I don't know, you know, it's funny, right? So some people may have, some people are more keen to, to seeing this, or, or I don't want to call it a gift, but some people call it a gift because it could also be a curse, right? You know, but I noticed Absolutely. that there are some people that can see better than others when it comes to if you want to call it the spirit world or, or something like that, you know, um, because, but, and I have, you know, people, obviously, you know, anyone that's working in healthcare, <clears throat> you know, we, we all have schooling, you know, we all have science, you know, and psychology and stuff like that. So, <laughs> you know, so you have all these people, you know, that being the same thing, you know, or similar, similar things, right? So I, I don't know, it's unexplainable, you know, but I, well, I, I work in um, invasive cardiology, and, you know, we get, uh, you know, patients that come in with heart attacks and they don't always make it, you know, uh, for whatever reason, they wait too long or, you know, they're, they're too far gone. Uh, so, yeah, you know, we, you know, we, in, as a team, we try to come together and save this patient, you know, with the physician, you know, um, it doesn't always happen, you know. And it's not always cardiac, it's other reasons too, you know, other cancer, you know, whatever, you know. Um, but I don't know, it's funny, there's something about hospitals, you know, they're there to help, but it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's kind of like where the, the end of the line for some people is. I mean, when you look at some of the shows that talk about, you know, like Ghost Adventures or any of that, the hospitals are like, the main place they catch all that stuff you know yeah exactly you know it's a i don't want to call it a gateway you know (laughs) (laughs) it's the end of the road hey here's a start (laughs) (laughs) right because i've talked to a lot of nurses and and you're right i mean all of them have stories heck even if you look at some of the episodes on the show from last season we got at least two hospital stories in those you got that thing that was jumping around they got caught on camera the other you have where I was in the hospital personally. There was something in the room with me. And right after that, I think is when I I got pulled from that room because I, I started no taking a nosedive. Wow. Yeah. But yeah. I heard I heard a voice in there with me. Somebody was in the room with me when that right. happened. So don't forget episode. Yeah, check that episode. I just got the hospital. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hector, we'll get to the next story. Guys, please hold real quick. Uh, We'll be right back right after these messages.
Hey guys, welcome back to My Ghost Cast. Our guest, Hector Cruz, one of my favorite people in this world. Very good man. Very good man. Actually, it's funny I said that because when I met Hector, right? Hector thought I was a good guy. And when I met him, I was like, man, this is a good guy. And you want to hear something Hatsumi told me on that trip? Yeah. Our, our, our gun master, sorry, I might mute that out. <laughs> so, we were having, it was after Daikomyo side, they were having the big party. Remember afterwards, all the foreigners all drinking and getting all dumb, right? And we we're like, ah, me and Rob were there and, and um, met this one, one gal. She was, her and her husband were there and, and she and I, you know, we connected pretty good. You know, it, was, it was good talking to somebody else, you know, out there. And so she, uh, she said, hey, hey, you want to meet Hatsumi? I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goes, hey. Follow me. And so she grabbed my hand and Rob's behind me following and we're going, hey. And she takes us right through all the foreigners and, you know, a couple of those guys who are like, no, man, expats, if you know what I mean. They're like, no, you got to, you got to stop. But, and then we just walked past those dudes. It was awesome. Uh, and she's like, here he is. And it, you know, Sensei's there with, you know, Nagato and, 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 and uh, Sumea and everybody there. And I was like, Oh my God, I get to get up to this close. And, and uh, all of a sudden, Hatsumi puts his hand on my shoulder and he goes, Oh, hello. He's, they start saying in Japanese. And then he goes, and he, he goes to English. He goes, These guys. And he, he grabs Nagato's shoulder. And he kind of pulls him in. It looked like Nagato was trying to get away. I was like, Oh, another foreigner. <laughs> Short Mexicans. Aren't they supposed to work in the dishwasher? No, anyways. <laughs> They cut grass, right? All the way over here. Uh, <laughs> and so, sure enough, man, Atumi goes, this guy, this is a very good guy. And I'm like, oh, my God, did he just say that to me? And then Rob's like, eh. and he's like, oh, these two guys. And then my, my friend, Christine, she actually took the picture. So there's oh. a picture of right when he said that, she took the picture. And you'll see it's me. And, you know, I posted it up, so maybe we can see it and have you, but... It was at that. That's why I'm all red. I'm like, <laughs> I met the coolest people on here. You know, start crying. <laughs> but no, <laughs> anyway, enough for the J Japanese. Uh... Let me say something about that. Yeah, quick, yeah. Quick. You know, sorry, since, you know, since we're talking about, you know, Sensei, you know, Hatsumi, it's okay. Um, so I've only been, I've only been up to him one time. Because you know how it is when you go train in Japan. Uh, usually, usually all these people, you know, during uh, break time, everybody goes up, gets in the line, and they take a canvas to him so that he can, so that he can draw something, you know, for you. A lot of times uh, there's a request, and a lot of times he draws what he feels about you, right? So, you know, I, the only time this is about ten years ago. Uh, you know, I take a canvas, I'm in line, wait my turn, I go up to him and, you know, he looks at me and he does, here, thank you, thank you, you know, right? So I go to the side and I'm looking at, so, uh, so you know, so uh, basically what he did is he, he drew a kanji, you know, character kanji, uh, like woo, harmony, peace, you know, flow, right? And with all due respect, I'm like, you know, semi-disappointed, you know, I wanted a dragon. Other people get a dragon. They get a samurai, you know, or something like that. Um, but I got to tell you, man. Some, some people got huevos in the chorizo. <laughs> <laughs> I so, know. You know, I, you know, what my sensei here in Del Rio, you know, what he's been, you know, trying to teach me, you know, and what you know where where, where we're at because you know how this you know the Bunchinkan has uh progressed and evolved and right now we're in you know in a flow state right feeling um so 10 years ago i feel that what he was trying to tell me what he saw is what my teacher who's like a father to me is telling me now uh, and i've been listening and studying the Tao Te Ching you know, um, so much, and it's all hitting me now. I had a, like an epiphany a couple of weeks ago. You know, my sense is like a father, like I said. So I'll call him and say, "I got it. I understand now." 
And the good old yeah. delayed reaction. Yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm with you. Ten years later, ten years later, you know, I, I get it. So. My, anyway. my, my progress was slow. Mine was 15, so I'm kind of. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Hector stories were great. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And uh, stay tuned. Hector's got some more stories in the future on another episode. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Hector. Well, I must say, with creatures knocking or trying to get in your door to entities or something at the hospital trying to have conversations with people there, yeah, those are, those are pretty scary stories. I've heard a lot of stuff connected to hospitals. So to me, I'm like, ooh. And of course, stuff showing up when kids are by themselves, uh, man, I got my experiences as well. And uh, I really appreciate Hector sharing his stories with us. It means a lot and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, put the notification bell and uh, leave a comment. Uh, it's warranted. <laughs> Again, Hector, thanks. And tell your wife, thank you for letting you share your stories. Again, guys, till the next episode of My Ghost Cast. Don't be scared. <laughs>